One of the main competitors in the PDA market is the Zoomer, or now called the Z7000 from Casio. Here to show us what it can do is Bruce Mendel of Casio. Bruce, again, give us the little box tour first, and then we'll get to the insides. Okay. This is the Casio Z7000 personal digital assistant. As you can see, it's got a protective cover that flips over. Mm -hmm. What we've done is made a consumer electronics product that combines the power of a PC and the best of pen and paper, which is ease of use. Uh, it's got a lot of expansion and communications possibilities. There's a serial port where mm -hmm. you communicate to modems, PCs, and printers. There's infrared communications. There's a speaker with a headphone jack. The pen fits right in the bottom, mm -hmm. comes out, and telescopes. And then there's navi navigational buttons here. There's also what we call a PCMCIA right. expansion slot, which allows you to use all sorts of expansion cards, like here? SunDisk storage card. Mm -hmm. There's a Motorola Embark messaging receiver and an AMT PCMCIA uh -huh. modem that fits. All those cards fit right in the slot. Okay, and what, what power is the Casio? There's a custom 16-bit CPU that runs on very low power, so the batteries last up to 100 hours mm -hmm. on a single set of three AA's. All right, let's get inside and see what the okay. Z7000 can do. The way it works is it's got all the best that we could find of software companies available in the world. So it's the Geos operating system, which is a multitasking operating system mm -hmm. and allows you to get in and out of things without having to open or close anything. You can just switch qu quickly. Mm -hmm. Palm Computing made all the applications. One of which you're looking at now is the date book. Works just like pen and paper. You'd simply tap on a month and you'd open up a one month view. You can see you can write on the face of the month and it tells you where you have appointments. You tap on a day and it'll take you into that day and you can see your events. There's also a to-do list and a sketch page mm -hmm. and you can mix text and ink freely anywhere. It has handwriting recognition built right into it, so I can take ink that I've entered here, which is what we call power ink, and I can ask it to recognize that ink. And you can do this at any time. So if you're in a hurry, you can scribble an ink. Then later when you have time, you can ask it, please recognize that, so you can alphabetize or search for it, mm -hmm. and it'll put it up at the top of the screen yeah. right here. There's also other applications in here for personal information management. That would be the address book, looks also again like a pen and paper address book. You see all the listings here. You jump to another letter and you can just quickly open up and again you'll see the ability to mix text and ink and a sketch page anywhere so you mm -hmm. can draw maps and people's names. Intuit provided Pocket Quicken which is personal finance and that's a, a pocket version of the number one personal finance software yeah. Quicken. You can track all your spending, categorize things, and you can quickly uh, reconcile bank accounts and come up with reports on what you've spent on the month in a certain category. Mm -hmm. Then there's other things in here as well. You can access this little icon at the bottom and you can see there's America Online, which is telecommunications, and you simply grab a modem and you can get stock quotes, make airline reservations, and send and mm -hmm. receive electronic mail. There's a dictionary and thesaurus. There's a form calculator, which I'll show you real quickly. There's a language translator, which has 26 languages with a thousand word database built in. Th this software is all in ROM? All in ROM. There's mm -hmm. four meg of ROM and it's filled to capacity mm -hmm. with applications. There's three games in here. And there's also a complete reference database for things like nutrition, U.S. city and state mm. information, geography, area codes. The form calculator is pretty neat. It can just tap on one of the forms. It'll show me a loan form. And you can see you can just plug in by handwriting in numbers in here. And if, uh, let's say, I could only afford $1,000 for a payment each month, I could ask it to recognize that for me and mm -hmm. then tap on the amount of principal it could take out and it will change the amount of principal for me. So you can back solve all the equations very quickly. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Other things in here are games, because let's face it, a lot of these times when you're sitting on an airplane next right. to somebody, they're using you, these things for entertainment. You're tired of working. Yeah. Right, exactly. So we put in three games. One is Solitaire. One is called Pyramid Solitaire, which is a little variation of it. Uh -huh. And another is called Uki, which is an Othello-type game. Mm -hmm. And Solitaire works just like you would, you would expect it to work. It prints the cards mm -hmm. up on the screen, and you can simply pull cards up to the top, and then you can turn over the next cards, and it'll yeah. quickly help you play the game, and you can have some fun with it. you got a lot of software built into ROM. Do you also have right. software applications you could buy and use? Yes. Geos is an open operating system, so we'll have the ability to have all sorts of add-on applications. You'll see turbo storage cards. You'll mm -hmm. see spreadsheets. You'll see communications. You'll see map and travel guides. Um, Geoworks is very good about doing training so that anybody who wants to write software can get uh -huh. trained in the Geos operating system and write an application. And what's the price on the Casio PDA? The suggested retail is $899. And we expect to see it selling at discount for approximately six ninety nine. So Newton Casio will be about the same range. About the same range. Right? Okay, thanks a lot. Coming up next, a look at the EO personal communicator from AT and.